Hey guys, before this video gets started, I just wanted to say thank you so much to those of you who are subscribing, but 90% of you are still not subscribed, so if you would please hit the subscribe button, I would appreciate it greatly. Without further ado, please enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. Today, we are going to be busting some more myths submitted by you. For the first myth of today, it was submitted by The Soviet Turk. They asked, Myth, using an axe against a Gotera does more damage than using a sword. The first test will be with a short sword versus a felling axe. In the top right, you will be able to see how many hits it took to kill the Gotera. First up, we have the short sword. Next up, the felling axe. For the second test, we will be using a long sword versus a curved axe. First up, the long sword. Next, the curved axe. For the third test, we will be using a great sword versus the great axe. First up, the great sword. Next, the great axe. And for the final test, we will be using a Thick Sword versus the L-Axe. Next up, the Thick Sword. Finally, the L-Axe. Wow, with this conclusion, that means the great sword is the winner of all of the other blades. Meaning this myth is busted. Going on to the second myth, it goes along the same line of thinking as the first. Using a pickaxe does more damage than a sword does to Teobatas. For this test, we will be using a short sword, a pickaxe, a great sword, and a crystal pickaxe. Again, in the top right, you will see how many hits it took in total to destroy the Terabata. First up, the pickaxe. Next, the short sword. First up, the Great Sword. Then, the Crystal Pickaxe. With a surprising turn of events from the last myth, the pickaxe and the crystal pickaxe are both tied for first place, meaning this myth is confirmed. The third myth of today goes to Ronok VR. They ask, Myth, a phantom guard steals life from another player when attacking them. This is an interesting myth as a lot of people seem to believe this. I think this is due to the fact of how rare phantom guards are and how easy it is to spread misinformation about them. So, to test, I'm going to need a volunteer from the round table. Mr. Weedy, you here, you might have seen my channel here and there. Uh, today I'm going to be helping Naga test this myth. A link to his channel will be in the description. Now that we have him here, we can take out our Phantom Guard weapon. To start off, we'll have him hit us so we can lose some health. 
Now, we will take our weapon and... No! As you can see, there is no lifesteal ability, meaning this myth is busted. I'd also like to take a minute to bust a further myth dealing with the Phantom Guard. Some players believe that there used to be a lifesteal ability, but as said by the dev, Joel, there never was one. For the fourth myth of today, we have a myth submitted by Pringles. They say, myth, hitting a Terabata in the arm gives a higher chance of it dropping an arm. Now I tested this on over 40 Terabatas, 20 of them hitting with the arm and 20 hitting without the arm. I honestly didn't know what this answer would be, but after my test, we can conclude that this myth is busted. Moving on to the fifth myth of today, we have one submitted by Ocean. They ask, myth, you could put out a lit piece of dynamite by putting it in an item slot or a water barrel. Alright, so we're going to light the fuse and put it in the bubble and... No! As you can see, it still does damage to us and not put out. Now moving on to the second part of this myth, we're going to light the fuse, toss it into the water, back up, and... Again, no, it still explodes, meaning this myth is busted. Now I can understand the confusion for this myth, as before the forest update, you used to be able to put a lit piece of dynamite into a tool slot or a bag pouch and it would indeed turn it off, but as of now, you cannot. Now hurrying on to the sixth myth of today, we have one submitted by Bob Stuntsville. He asked, Myth, Ashwood handles for any kind of weapon increase the damage. I don't know what to think of this myth because I've always used redwood since it was durable and it looks cool. So to test, we have two mithril swords. One with an ashwood handle, and one with an oak handle. First, we will hit with an oak wood handle to get a standard damage output. Now, with the ashwood handle. Wow, as you can see, the oak wood actually did more than the ash wood, meaning this myth is busted. Moving right along to the final myth of today's video, it has been submitted by Scuba Steve. They write, Myth, when using dynamite, if you stick your arm or finger into the blast radius, you will still take damage. Now this is an actual good question, as I've only ever stayed inside the radius or got out of it completely. So to test this, we will light the dynamite, place it down, run over to the edge, and stick our arm in. And after it blows up, BOOM! No! It does not do any damage, meaning this myth is busted. And I really was not expecting that. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you are, make sure to slap the like button and smash the subscribe button. Make sure to leave your myths in the comments below, that way you have a chance to be featured in next week's episode of Mythbusters.